Today we're going to look at drawing a human heart for IB Diploma Biology. By now we should know, heart is two pumps side by side, and there are four chambers. One side pumps just to the lungs, the other side pumps to the whole body. So obviously the whole body side must be bigger and stronger, and this is where they start to give you marks for IB Diploma Bio. Start off by drawing a flat topped circle. It's about the shape of a heart. And then add two construction lines. We know the top half or the two atria are much smaller. We know the side that pumps to the whole body is much bigger than the side that just pumps to your lungs. Now the side that pumps to your whole body is the left side. When you look at something, the left side is on your right. So when we label them, it's actually back the front to what you think. The left is on the right, the right is on the left. We now have to draw entry and exit points. Entry point here, entry point here, and the exit points coming out from the bottom. That's not very neat. Let's actually try and get our thicknesses consistent. That's the sort of area that gives you marks. We can now add wall thicknesses. The left side has a really thick wall. If you ever dissect a heart, you'll see that it's just a huge, thick, muscular wall. It pumps to the whole body. The right hand side, on the other hand, is much thinner. It only has to pump next door to your lungs. Now this is where the IB starts to give marks. Left side, bigger than right side. Top, smaller than bottom. Thicker muscle on the left than the right. At this point we can lose our construction lines. And we've pretty much got most of what we need. The last thing we need to add are some valves that stop the backflow of the blood when it's going. So these are like little doors. Any time a muscle contracts, these are pushed closed, stopping backflow. And there'll be a couple of ligaments just holding these in place. The last thing you need to add would be the labels. We have the two atria at the top and the ventricles below. We can then label the vessels at the top. So our blood vessels are labelled, and we can label the valves. And like with any biological drawing, any label lines should be ruled. So here is a human heart that should get you all the marks you need for IB Diploma. You could add blood flow, and that's where I shouldn't have drawn it in red, because we usually use red blood to show oxygenated, and blue blood to show deoxygenated. So the blood coming into the left should be oxygenated. It's come from the lungs, into here, down to here, and out to the body. Blood coming back into the other side comes into the top, the right atrium, down to the right ventricle, back out to the lungs where it gets oxygen. A lot of students actually get confused about the double circulation, the one side being oxygenated and the other side not. So if I draw a very badly drawn heart here, two parallel pumps, smaller pump on the right, and then we use colours. We have to draw in some lungs. Okay, they're not really here, this is a schematic diagram. Here is the whole body, I guess, except the lungs. Oxygenated blood comes from the lungs and goes into the left. We use red for oxygenated blood. So the blood goes into the left, through the left, out to the whole body. From the whole body, the oxygen gets used up, we call this blue blood, it comes back and into the right. Blood goes through the right and back to the lungs. So what we find is for one circuit through the body, the blood goes through your heart twice. Because you're starting at the lungs, to the left, to the body, to the right, back to the lungs. Which is why we consider the heart to be two separate pumps side by side. This is called double circulation. The advantage with the blood going through your heart twice each time around your body is that it pushes the blood faster. You get a quicker supply of oxygen and food, which enables us to be a lot more active than we would be otherwise. My biology students have just pointed out that arteries, the exit points of the heart, need a thicker wall to accommodate the greater pressure, and they're right. So we need a thicker wall for the exits because the blood coming out here is much higher pressure. 